But 2015-16 financial year was a great one for Isle of Capri. The suburb now holds the record for the all-time highest price along the Narang River. And there's also been very strong price growth across the board for all property types on Isle of Capri. The adjusted average sale price for Isle of Capri, which excludes one outlying sale, increased by 10.69% over the year to just over $1.4 million, which is great for owners on the Isle of Capri. The number of sales contracted by approximately 10%, which I mostly attribute to the lack of stock that actually came to market over the year. The average days on market for Isle of Capri were 83, which is great compared to other suburbs. However, dry or non-waterfront homes really shone through, selling in an average of 47 days, whilst waterfronts sold in an average of 104 days. Roughly one in three sales on Isle of Capri over the last 12 months were non-waterfront properties, with an entry-level renovator or knockdown selling for 672,000, whilst a newly rebuilt or renovated home in Amalfi Drive is sold as the top dry block sale for 1,435,000. Waterfronts had a stellar year on Isle of Capri. There was a $15.5 million sale on the Corso, which totally reset the record books for the entire Narang River, with more than a 50% increase on the previous record of 9.8, which was held in Southport. The next highest sale was $5.65 million for 33 Naples, which we marketed as a riverfront renovator or knockdown. Now that home's going to be demolished for the construction of a new home, and that along with some sales along the course, so really firms up my opinion that square metre rates for riverfront positions on the northern side of Capri, depending on where they are, are now sitting between four and $5,000 a square metre in most cases, and some sales are actually exceeding that rate. And the third highest sale for the year was $3.74 million in Gibraltar Drive, which set a new benchmark for larger canal front homes in the suburb, whilst the entry level waterfront sale was along Salerno Street for $860,000. Moving into spring, we're already seeing that stock levels are going to remain tight, so we're expecting that to continue for the last part of 2016. But buyer inquiry to the suburb continues to be driven predominantly because it's a great family suburb with parks, schools, the shopping and dining over at the Capri and Via Roma shopping centre, the walking distance to the beach and to the light rail. It has everything that ticks Real Estate 101 for property investing and buying a home. So with low supply and strong demand, it looks like Isla Capri is set for a fantastic 2016-17.